What's up, guys? This is Sim with Benjamin, and I'm back here with another NCAA Football 14 UAB Blazers Dynasty. And today, your number 22 UAB Blazers are at home once again, taking on the number seven Michigan Wolverines. And both teams are 1 0 headed into this game. If you guys are excited, make sure you guys drop a like. And if you're new to the channel at all, hit that subscribe button down below. As like I said uh, last week, the recruiting class is probably as best as ever going to be for quite some time. We got a lot of good players in here this year, and uh, we expect to get a couple of these guys. You know, one the number one running backs, obviously wanting to play for UAB. So <laughs> hopefully we can get him. Um, we got a lot of athletes in here this year, and uh, lots of uh, lots of good players, I should say. Uh, can't say for sure if we'll get all of them or not, but it would be nice if we did. Um, I think our biggest concern is right now just winning these football games. Because um, we got a really tough schedule this year. We're trying to win a national championship. We almost did it last year, but uh, the, the selection committee did not want us to be in a national championship game. So they put us in the Rose Bowl. But that's okay. Because you know what? We're going to do it this year. This year's our year. And uh, I feel like we have the team to do it. We have a lot of good players. Um, Justin Kelly is proving himself to be one of the top quarterbacks in the nation. And he's only a sophomore. He's only a sophomore and he's doing this. Uh, last year when he came in to back up from Chris Jones, Chris Jones was, I mean, he was good. But, man, Justin Kelly is something else. I tell you. This guy's like a different breed of quarterbacks. I've never seen any quarterback play like this good like ever. Uh, but you see right here, Florida State, give them a little bit more respect than us still in the in the polls, man. After we blew them out by 35, they're still ra ranking us below Florida State, which I find extremely disrespectful. So this week, we're going to go out there and prove to all those haters that UAB belongs in the top 10. Let's get on with this game against Michigan. Should be a good one. Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show. Presented by Nissan, innovation that excites. In downtown Birmingham, the old gray lady looms, the storied venue of so many great games over the years. UAB Stadium, the site for our game today. Both teams completing warm-ups, closing in on kickoff from the Magic City. That's going to do it for us here on the pregame show. NCAA Football 14 action coming at you right now. Brad Nessler and Kirk Herbstreit. Are here at Legion Field. Here we are, at number 22 UAB taking on the number seven Michigan Wolverines in another top 25 matchup. As you see, Michigan's ready to kick this one off, and we are underway as Hester Jr. is going to pretty much take this one for a touchback. And uh, UAB will start at the 20. So here we go, first possession of the game. Let's see if we can put some points up on the board and set the tone early. Third and five here. Kelly dropping back, looking over the middle. To the running back Aaron Hicks and you barely even see me do that like do that little play underneath over the middle but it worked out that time you know you hardly ever do that but this time it worked so Kelly on the read option getting that first down and um, you know I like it when they you know at least move the chains that's all that really matters in football just move them chains man don't turn the ball or move the chains you're gonna have be have a pretty successful football team but here Justin Kelly gets it off to Brian Green who breaks a tackle makes a couple of guys miss and almost takes it to the house 41 yard pickup and a first down so second and goal here from the six yard line and here is Justin Kelly on the read option and he's gonna find Pater through the ground touchdown UAB you know I love me some Justin Kelly he has just been the man like ever since he came to UAB he's just been the man third down and four here's Elbert looking over the middle and this one's going to be dropped as he is the receiver just got hit as he came the ball came in so Good job by the defense there to force the ball out. So Kelly scrambling to his right on third and nine. Gets this one off to Doug Nash for a pickup of 12 yards and a first down. Whoo! Man, we're on fire. Justin Kelly's on fire. 
you know, he's just the man. Like I said, he is the straight up man. Like no one can touch him right now. He's just that good. Kelly looking over the middle as the blitz is coming in hot, but he gets it off to Brian Green for the first down. UAB continuing to move the ball. Kelly on the read option. Makes a couple of guys miss. Look at Justin Kelly to almost take this one to Pater again. 28-yard pickup and a first. Second and goal here. 52 seconds left. Kelly again on the read option. Finding the end zone. Touchdown UAB. 14-0 over the number 7 team in the nation. Then again, we beat the number 4 team in the nation last year. Number 5. So this is really just nothing. So Scott Roberts over the middle first down for the Michigan Wolverines. You know, Michigan's got to—they got to pick up their game. They've been slacking, so they got a handoff here to Timmons. Timmons is going to find some space, and he's going to break a couple of tackles, and he's going to pick up 16 yards on that play. Alex Timmons just killing it on that carry. Second down and nine. They got their tight end in motion to the right. Let's see what they're going to do here on second and nine. Here's Elbert dropping back, looking over to the right side. It's caught by Scott Roberts once again. For a pickup of 12 yards. Cortez Elbert, 3 for 4 for 28 yards so far in the game. Hasn't turned the ball over, just not having a very good, efficient offensive day, that's for sure. Elbert again looking left side. It's caught by Ortiz and down for a 14 yard pickup. And Michigan is now in striking distance of the end zone here on third and four. Can they punch this one in or even get a first down? That's all they really need is a first down. They got Timmons in motion. Here's Elbert dropping back. Looking over the middle to Ortiz, and Ortiz down to the three-yard line, and a first down. So 10 play, 66-yard drive ensuing. This is the 11th play of the drive, and they're going to finish it off with an Albert touchdown. So 11 play, 70-yard drive for Michigan, and they finally get on the board here. It's 14-7. Third down and eight. Kelly in the shotgun. Play action. Looks over the middle, but it's dropped by the defender. That could have been intercepted by Jake Perry, but nope. Uh... He stuck his hand up there, though. You got to give him credit. Uh, second down is seven here. They got a strong eye going in play. Here's Albert dropping back. Looking right, right side. Caught by Peterson. Down the sideline. And Hamby pushes him out of bounds after picking up 37 yards. And now Michigan in striking distance to tie the game now. They got their tight end in motion again. Let's see what they're going to do on second and five. Albert. Left side. It's caught by Sullivan. Touchdown. Michigan Wolverines. So now tied at 14. This game just got a little interesting now. Let's see what we can do to, you know, pick up the tempo again. We got to get back to playing UAB football. Here we got, got it off to Donald Hill's 18-yard pickup first down. Running that no-huddle offense under uh, about 100 seconds to go. Now we're down to 90 seconds here as Donald Hill's again picking up 23 yards and a first down. Hurrying up to the line of scrimmage is UAB Kelly in the shotgun. Dropping back. Has plenty of time. Finds a wide open Doug Nash for the touchdown. And it's now 21-14. Now with about 54 seconds left, here comes Michigan. They got Elbert in the shotgun with Timmons on the left. Elbert looks, steps up and throws. It's caught by Peterson. First down, Michigan. And now third down and 18. They're in a bit of a hole. 40 seconds left. Let's see what they can do here. Elbert. Looks, has time over the middle, but is caught, but short of the first down. And that is going to bring up a field goal attempt here from Michigan to try and bring it within, uh, you know, inside of seven points. That's their goal anyway, right before halftime. The kick is up, and it's good. So 21-17 here. Michigan starts with the ball here in the second half. Elbert dropping back. Looks, has no time left, and he throws it away. Smart move by Elbert. Uh, to get rid of that one because, man, he had the pressure coming in hot. Third down and seven. Kelly looks over the middle. It's Donald Hills again on the tight end attack route, and it's a first down. 18 of 24 for 269 and a touchdown pass is Justin Kelly. Kelly again looks over the middle. It's dropped, and uh, that's going to be a field goal attempt here from Green. This one's from about... 45 yards out, and this one is good. About 44, 45. We'll call it 44 and a half. Uh, but it's now 24, 17. Here is Albert again, and he gets it off to Sullivan again. First down, Michigan. Oh, it's a fumble. Mullins recovers. Michigan just coughed it up, but I think he may have been down. We'll take a look. Yeah, he's clearly down. The elbow comes down. If the elbow hits the ground. The ball can 
the ball cannot be forced out by the ground. Otherwise, it's going to be uh, ruled down. So good, cut, good catch by the officials. Even though I wasn't really too happy about it, let's face it. I was hoping to get the ball back. Uh, but here we are in the fourth quarter, 24-17 still. Albert looking over the middle of Sullivan. First down, or not first down, but just short of the first down is Michigan. And Mullins right there to make the stop. But they're going to go for it on fourth down. Really kind of surprised at this call. They have all three timeouts. There's still plenty of time left in this game, but they decide to go for it. And Gary Collins comes in with the sack. And now UAB has a little bit of time left to try and put this one on ice. Third down and two. Kelly changing up the play to a single back formation, handing it off to Aaron Hicks, who gets just enough of the first down and a little bit more, about four-yard pickup when they needed two. Aaron Hicks has been struggling on the ground, only two yards per carry this game. But we've been throwing the ball for a majority of the time, so the offense is still doing its thing. Uh, but now on first and goal with 3.20 left, here is Ford on the right side. Touchdown Blazers. It's now 31-17. Now I think they kind of regret going for that fourth down play. Um, but it's no big deal, right? No biggie. Fourth down and six. They're going to go for it again. This time they're down by 14 instead of seven. So now I kind of understand their motives behind going on for it on fourth down. But it ends up in the same result. Gary Collins with the sack. <laughs> same thing. Uh, going for a fourth down, same result. So Kelly again looking over to Doug Nash. Touchdown Blazers. It's now 38-17. As now Justin Kelly throws his second touchdown pass of the game. He has four total touchdowns this game. Wow. Just amazing. This guy's a just this guy's just God at football. See right here, Michigan does get one back, making it 38-24. I wasn't too happy about that, so I wanted to try and, you know, go for the different dif differential here and getting a three touchdown victory against a top ten team. Uh, so now Kelly scrambling to his right. Trying to find somebody open, but you know, he's going to take it himself. That's his fifth total touchdown of the game. Three rushing touchdowns, two passing touchdowns. And man, oh man, we just came out with another huge win. Man. 45-24. Justin Kelly, player of the game. Five total touchdowns, 22 of 29 passing for 355 yards. Had over 60 yards rushing in the game. Just an amazing, amazing performance. And you know what? He may just be... A Heisman candidate. I don't know. Kelly for Heisman? Hashtag Kelly for Heisman? I like that. But uh, anyway, next week we're going to take on South Alabama. They just moved to the SEC themselves in this comp in this game. So I hope you guys are ready for our first conference matchup versus the other new SEC team, the South Alabama Jaguars. But if you guys enjoyed today's video, make sure you guys drop a like. And if you're new to the channel at all, hit that subscribe button down below. But until next time. My name is Simmons Benches. You guys have been amazing as always. I'm out. Peace.